Guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you a cool little project I made in Python. So basically what this is, is it encrypts a message of your choice into an image. So basically like a very simple form of steganography. So first I'm going to show you the code and explain what it does and then I'll give you a demonstration. So first of all, we import a library map.lib to, and this will be used to show the image. And then we define this dictionary letter and number, which is basically A is one, B is two, C is three, so on. Uh, I'll show you how that is used later. And then we have a bunch of variables and arrays that I'll show you how they are used later in this code. So first of all, we do message equals input, give the phrase you want to encrypt in an image. So over here, you can put any message you want. And then first it's going to convert it to all uppercase and then it's going to go through the message for i range len message and it's going to check at each index of the message if uh, dot is alpha equals true meaning if it is an alphabet then it's going to append in this temp the number version of that alphabet which it's getting from this dictionary so like let's say the letter is b so then it's going to append two into this list so then we have another for loop um, for j in range len temp so it goes through this temp array and it is gonna do concatenated plus equals string of temp j so this is kind of long but basically what it does is we have this empty string concatenated and into this it adds the string for the temp of whatever that uh, number it is so basically, uh, after this line, the concatenated, um, the string will be a string of a lot of numbers that are generated, that is generated from this message. And then um, we're going to do for k in range len concatenated. So we're going to go through the concatenated list. Uh, it's going to check if k mod 3 is 0, um, which means if it's either 0, if k is 0, 3, 6, etc. And if it is less than or equal to length of concatenated minus 3, it's going to make another variable pixel list, which is an empty one, an empty string again. And it's going to add uh, concatenated k, connect, connect, concatenated k plus 1, and concatenated k plus 2 into it. So let's say concatenated is something like 1, 7, 3, 4, 2. So a pixel list is going to make it empty, and then it's going to add 1 then four, then six, so the number is gonna be 146. And then inside this other one, pixel values, this other list is gonna append this um, pixel list, so that string. And then another for the word here, for L in range length of pixel values. So this list is gonna go through that, and then uh, at each of this index, it's just gonna convert it into an integer. So basically what we're doing here is we're getting pixel values. And uh, so either it can be less than 255 or, or it can be more than 255. So if it's less than 255, we're just going to leave it like that. But if it is more than 255, which is the max value of a pixel, which max value of a pixel can take, then it's going to just set that equal to 255. And then finally, over here, we have this for loop for x in range len pixel value. So it goes um, through pixel values. If x is less than or equal to len pixel value, pixel value is minus 3. And if x mod 3 is equal to 0, again, similar to what we did over here, then it's going to append in temp list pixel values x, x was 1, and x was 2 to generate the pixel values because you need an RGB. So it basically is going to be a list of lists. So each lit part of the list is going to contain three values for R, G, and B. And finally, we're going to uh, use matplotlib to show it, plt.m show pixels, comma, in interpolation equals nearest and then plt it off show to show the image. So now I'm gonna run it and show an example of this working. So as you can see, it's asking me to give the phrase, so I'm just gonna write anything. And uh, I'm also, I can also put symbols like commas and stuff like that, so like this is So now if I run it, it has converted it into an image using the RGB values. And so basically this image contains this message in an encrypted form in this image. 
So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.